Imagine a time when the vastness of space was but a mystery, a frontier unexplored. Then came Sputnik 1. Launched on October 4th in the year of 1957, this small spherical satellite, no bigger than a beach ball, made history. It was the first human-made object to orbit the Earth, a beacon of technological achievement that echoed through the cosmos. Born out of the fervor of the Cold War, Sputnik 1 ignited a competition like no other. The United States and the Soviet Union, two superpowers, found themselves locked in a race not for land, not for wealth, but for the stars. The stakes were high, and the world watched with bated breath. This was the dawn of the space age, a period of exploration and discovery that would forever change our understanding of the universe. With this small, spherical satellite, space was no longer a distant dream, but a reality within our grasp. Fast forward to July 20th, 1969, a date etched in the annals of history. On this monumental day, NASA's Apollo 11 mission achieved one of humanity's greatest milestones. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, two names that will forever be synonymous with space exploration, became the first humans to set foot on the moon. As Armstrong descended the lunar module's ladder, a global audience held its breath, their eyes glued to their television screens. Then, a moment that transcended the barriers of nations and cultures, Armstrong's boot touched the lunar surface. His iconic words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, echoed around the world, their profound significance resonating with all who heard them. They symbolized more than just a triumph of human ingenuity and exploration. They marked a new epoch, a testament to our species' audacity and unyielding spirit of discovery. The moon was no longer a distant celestial body but a place where humans had set foot. Yet with great strides in exploration come great risks. A stark reminder of this was the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster on January 28, 1986. A mere 73 seconds after liftoff, the Challenger tragically broke apart, extinguishing the lives of all seven crew members aboard, including beloved teacher, Krista McAuliffe. The world watched in disbelief, a shared grief permeating the air. The aftershock of this catastrophe reverberated through NASA's space shuttle program, leading to a temporary standstill. It was a wake-up call, prompting a thorough re-evaluation of safety protocols and procedures. It became a turning point in the annals of space exploration, a moment of reflection and learning. The focus shifted towards ensuring such a disaster would not be repeated, safeguarding the lives of those brave enough to venture into the cosmos. So, in the face of adversity, we did what humanity does best. In the face of tragedy, we learned, adapted, and persevered. As we ventured further, we sought to see deeper into the cosmos. April 24, 1990, marked a significant stride in this pursuit. With the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope, this extraordinary piece of technology, sent into orbit by the Space Shuttle Discovery, has been our window to the uncharted territories of the universe. For over three decades, Hubble has been serving as humanity's eye in the sky, revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. Its stunning images of distant galaxies have reshaped our knowledge of the universe's structure and size. It has offered us unprecedented insights into the process of star formation, revealing the life cycle of stars in a way that was previously unimagined. And perhaps most importantly, it has helped us calculate the age and expansion rate of the universe, providing answers to some of the most profound questions about our existence. Through Hubble's lens, we've been able to witness the very fabric of our universe. From the moon to Mars, our curiosity remained unquenched. The red planet has been a tantalizing target for exploration, and NASA's rovers have led the charge. Starting with Spirit and Opportunity in 2004, these robotic explorers have been our eyes and ears on Mars. They've roamed the Martian surface, digging up clues about the planet's past and present. Then came Curiosity in 2012, a car-sized rover equipped with a mobile laboratory. It discovered evidence of ancient streams and lakes, suggesting that Mars was once a wet world. Fast forward to 2021, the latest rover, Perseverance, landed on Mars with a new mission, to search for signs of ancient microbial life. Each rover has made significant strides in our understanding of Mars, revealing a world of dry riverbeds, towering volcanoes, and vast plains. On the surface of Mars, we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. 